Hey there, home cooks. Today, I'm going to show you how to clean and sanitize your kitchen tools like a pro. Keeping your kitchen tools and surfaces spotless is super important for both your food safety and your peace of mind. So, let's dive right in. First up, let's talk about the basics of cleaning. After you're done using your tools, rinse off any food particles with warm water. For those stubborn bits, use a brush or sponge to scrub them away. Make sure you're using a mild dish soap that's tough on grease but gentle on your hands. Rinse thoroughly and dry with a clean towel to prevent any water spots. Now, on to sanitizing. This step is crucial for killing any lingering bacteria. You can use a commercial sanitizer or make your own with a bleach solution. Simply mix one tablespoon of unscented liquid chlorine bleach with one gallon of water. Dip your cleaned tools into the solution for at least one minute, then let them air dry. Easy, right? But don't forget about those cutting boards. They can harbor bacteria in the tiny cuts and grooves. After washing, sanitize them by applying the same bleach solution or by using white vinegar and letting it sit for a few minutes. Rinse thoroughly and let them dry upright. How about your countertops? First, clear off any debris and wipe them down with warm, soapy water. Follow up with a sanitizing spray or wipe. You can also use a homemade solution of one part vinegar to one part water. Spray it on, let it sit for a minute, then wipe it off. This helps keep your surfaces sparkling and germ-free. Lastly, don't forget to clean your sponges and dishcloths regularly. Toss them in the laundry on a hot cycle or microwave a damp sponge for one minute to kill bacteria. Replace them frequently to avoid cross-contamination. And there you have it. Clean and sanitized kitchen tools and surfaces, just like a pro. It's all about making these steps a part of your routine. Thanks for watching and happy cooking. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more kitchen tips. See you next time.